CW Twin Cities, very excited. We are talking to Thomas Roberts, the brand new host of Daily Mail TV. Welcome to the team, welcome to the family, and uh, tell us what brought you here. Tell us a little bit about your career and how you ended up with Daily Mail TV. Well, John, how much time do you have? I mean, this, this, <laughs> this could take a while if uh, you really want all of that. Uh, but I'm thrilled to be here. Uh, this is our fourth season for Daily Mail TV. We have our premiere week next week, although we are in live shows right now. Uh, <clears throat> but I come here with a kind of broad witness protection program uh, in journalism experience because I've moved around so much. Uh, but uh, after 25 years, I've kind of done it all. And I'm really excited to be here for the fourth season and in this election year, especially with so much going on in the news. And we cover it all for you right here on Daily Mail TV. Why? I'm sure you had, with your, with your background, I'm sure you've had many options, many places you could have gone. Why, why did Day, Daily Mail TV sell it for you? Why did you want to come here? You know, and, and that's a really great question. Uh, two of the executive producers here are, are dear old friends of mine, and I've worked with them, uh, and they're two of the most quality people in the business, uh, along with senior correspondent here, Alicia Quarles is an old friend. So it was a homecoming of sorts, uh, just walking in the headquarters uh, of Daily Mail here in New York City. Uh, and that was a big inspiration for, for wanting to do it, as well as knowing the reach and the global footprint of Daily Mail, because I've been a consumer of that for a long time, and then obviously a viewer of this show, but the merge and the meld between the two, and the exclusives, uh, the amount of juicy stories that the Daily Mail digs into and delivers, uh, I'm thrilled to be a part of that. And also, you know, dig into my uh, resources and, and my background of connections and deliver those nuggets uniquely to me, uh, to you at home. You mentioned some of the exclusives. What kind of stories are we going to be seeing? Oh, John. All right. So there's great stuff next week. And I, I'm going to, I can't tell you, I'd like to tell you uh, about what's coming in premiere week, but I'll tell you what we have on today, uh, okay. which is very interesting and unique. It's uh, Joe Exotic. Uh, you know Joe Exotic. Oh, yeah. And, uh, I mean, all the Tiger King, right? Uh, became national treasure. During isolation. <laughs> truly, truly. <laughs> but will he get a, a pardon from the president? We've been following along as he is schmoozing Donald Trump, uh, trying to get a pardon. Uh, but this is something you will only see with us that we're going to have some insight for. Uh, and then another great story uh, that we have been looking at and I think is really going to hit home for a lot of people is debt issues, uh, especially during this time of job loss for so many. And we look at our credit cards and we're like, ah, sure, I'll, I'll use it. We never think about how quickly it's going to mount up or the interest rates. Well, we've got this algorithm from an expert that helped one newlywed couple get out of $75,000 in debt in less than a year. And it's not that difficult. So that's another one of the great stories we're delivering on today. Besides the exclusives that are coming next week, and uh, there's one that I Wish I could tell you right now that I've been personally working on very hard, uh, <laughs> but I don't want to jinx it, so I'm okay. not going to say. Well, you've done the research. But I'll text, I'll text you later. <laughs> it sounds good. <laughs> sounds good. You've done the research, and thank you for doing that, by the way. But tell us, after you've done the research, is Joe Exotic going to get that pardon? What's your hunch? My hunch? Yeah. Mm. It's going to happen? <laughs> awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Think? So, you know, uh, I mean, I, it's like it's a, you know, reality, reality and reality. The re, you know, I mean, yeah, I, I think it's a it's a headline made in reality heaven. I think if Trump loses, what the hell, just do it because you're going out anyway, you know, you might as well. Yeah. <laughs> just for fun. You, you never know. I mean, hey, it's a surprise every day, right? Yep. So with COVID and with this pandemic and you covering all of these stories, how has that changed? And w are you actually meeting with people? Are you doing everything? Like right now I'm in my living room. Are you still doing that kind of stuff? Or are you actually going out and doing these stories one-on-one -on -one with individuals? We've really had to uh, pivot on that. And I'm sure you guys have done the very same with how you're doing quality journalism, uh, but thinking about how to do it to make sure everybody's safe. We've really had to mm -hmm. work out new structures of, of how to come up with the best quality content to deliver the best television show uh, but making sure that everybody, you know, our family here at Daily Mail TV and Daily Mail stays safe, that also our sources and those subjects that we're interviewing stay safe. Uh, so we've had to come up with these different workarounds. So Zoom is like a great best friend. Uh, but uh, most of us have a lot of these tricks right in our iPhone uh, that we're now relying on day in and day out to continue doing the great work. And I think a lot more phone calls. You probably know this. I mean, so, mu so much more quality time connecting via the phone 
maybe not through Zoom all the time, but I'm just talking about good old-fashioned phone calls and kind of, you know, uh, dogged uh, reporter work uh, on the beat that way. Absolutely. I, for me, it's all about getting the good journalism out there without disrupting the dog's sleeping schedules. You know, that's the, yeah. the biggest part. You don't want to mess up their, yeah. their day. So no, with I mean, this... It, it, it never stops, though. I mean, that's the whole thing. I mean, we're, we live right. in a 24-7 world. So, uh, you know, we'll all sleep at a different time. So with this new position, I mean, you've covered a lot of news. Now you're getting into some other types of stories. Is there one person out there besides Joe Exotic that you that you've wanted to cover throughout your career that now you might get that chance to talk to that person? And who is uh, that? I'd I'd love uh, to sit down with Vladimir Putin. Oh wow! I think that would be a great interview and a, and a really fascinating story. I find him to be uh, completely. And, and fascinating characters in, in ways we have no idea truly about, uh, but we have speculation. And I think it would just be interesting, just for me personally, to have that in-person dynamic. Because as you know, you know, as a, as a reporter and a journalist, it's about reading body language. It's about trying to figure out and anticipate and listen really well, uh, because it's not about that next question. It's kind of about reacting to what they're saying. And you want to make sure that you're listening. Uh, I would just be fascinated to have that sit down. If you had the opportunity to, opportunity to speak with Putin, what would you ask him? Oh, you know what I'd ask. You get, tell us. I don't want to assume anything. I'll text you. I'll text you okay. that one. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. <laughs> Great. All right. Well, in the Twin Cities, we want to we want to get to know you. So, so a couple rapid rapid fire questions. Number one. All right. Hold on. We've let, all been watching. Let me concentrate. Show. All right, we've all been watching a lot of TV. What's your favorite show? Ooh, my favorite show? Ozark. Okay. What do you think is going to happen next season? Well, I mean, we know how it ended, right? I did not see that coming. No. I did not see that coming. Uh, poor Brienne of Ozark. Uh, <laughs> but I think, I, I, I think that uh, Marty is going to die. Oh, wow. That's a bold statement. All right, we'll have to wait and I'm see. Just saying that, yeah. Favorite movie? Play back this tape when it happens, and there's a total, I think, Laura Lenny takeover. I'm just saying. Okay, we'll have to see. What's your favorite movie? Favorite currently or of all yeah, so time? All time. Oh, well, that's, that's kind of a combo. I mean, there's Money Pit, Mrs. Doubtfire, there's Animal House, and then Godfather 2. Okay. Favorite vacation spot? Ooh. Uh, favorite vacation? Uh, Mykonos. I went to Mykonos once. It was fantastic. Very cool. Have you ever been to the Twin Cities? And if so, what did you do while you were here? Minneapolis or St. Paul? I have not. But I had two dear friends uh, that worked there, Matt Ackland and Contessa Brewer. Okay. Cool. Will, will the Daily Mail TV bring you out here? And if so, will we get a chance to see you in person? Or is that to be continued? Say, say that again. The IFB broke out for just a second. Say that again. Do you think you'll be out here with your new job at all, covering stories, or is that to be continued? I think to be decided, you know, as things mm -hmm. uh, kind of uh, get back to normal or not. Uh, we're just going to take things uh, in a, you know, wait and see basis and, and what makes best sense. All right. Well, Thomas, thank you so much. Twin Cities, we are very excited to have this guy on the CW Twin Cities here. So thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. Daily thank Mail TV me. airs weeknights at 11 and 1130. Season four is available right now. So Twin Cities, check it out. Thank you.